In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a thumbs up slide with four fingers. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the first finger, the option number one, the icon, the title and the detail text. When I click, it will show you the second finger, the third, the fourth, and then the whole, the thumb, the palm comes here. You can see here. So depending on the requirement, you can just change the colors or you can just change different icons according to the requirement. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light grey color background then go to insert, click on the icons and search the hand. And I'm going to choose the hand, the icon of which is the thumbs up. Select this one and click on insert. As you can see here, the icon is inserted. Now hold the shift key, increase the size depending on the requirement. Maybe this much big I need. And then right mouse click and convert to shape. Here you can just give any color of your choice. So I can just give uh, some different color shape field. Maybe I can just give some turquoise color and you can join this with the help of a rectangle that we can do later. The next thing which I'm going to draw the fingers. So go to insert shapes, select the rounded corner rectangle. You can see here and you can see the small orange point. Just drag this inside and make sure the height should be like 0 0.9 or 0 0.95. And I'm going to place it here. You can see here a little bit outside also not a problem. And Make sure that it is no outline and shape fill. You can give any color of your choice. I'm going to give this color. And then I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D. And I'm going to make sure that it is properly aligned. And from the left side, I'm going to reduce a little bit. You can see here. Then the Ctrl D again, bring it down. Again from the left, it should be the same. But from the right, I'm going to reduce the size a little bit. Again, Control D, bring it down and reduce the size once more. And again, if you want to increase the size, select both of all these rectangles and you can increase the size a little bit and make sure it is aligned left. All right. So once this is done, I'm going to give a different color combination for this one. Maybe this could be a kind of purple I can give this. I can give maybe a red this i can give uh, maybe uh, a blue see a different color combinations i have given again if you want you can just select and increase the size it's up to you how much the finger size you need you can just keep it and once this is done i'm going to insert text box i'm going to add the option number zero one center align make it bold increase the size and i'm going to put it here and I'm going to change the font color to white. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. Bring it here. Ctrl D, Ctrl D, and align it properly. So this is my second. This is sorry. This is the fourth. This is this option is third. This option is second. So one, two, three, four, and then you can go and insert some icons also. Again, depending on the requirement. Uh, choose the right icon. So I'm going to randomly choose some icons. You can see here some baby and some kind of a different uh, Yeah, maybe this one and this one and click on insert It got inserted. I'm going to reduce the size to 0 0.6 maybe and then I'm going to place one by one maybe this Bottle I'll keep it here. This I will keep it here this one I'll keep it here and this will come down and select these icons with the help of the shift key and change the graphic fill color to white so it is more visible and once this is done select each one and press ctrl G you can see here only I'm selecting only the second option then I'm going to select the third option ctrl G and then this also. All right, why I'm doing that one, the grouping is because this will help me to do the animation better. So once this is done, you can go to the insert text box, 
I'm going to say 0, 1, make it bold, increase the size, and then I'm going to say title here. Again, this also you can make it bold, increase the size, and then below you can add the detailed text equals L-O-R-E-M within brackets 1. I don't want this much long text, so I'm going to delete. And then I'm going to reduce the font size and I'm going to give some gray color and I'm going to put it here. So this is my option one. Okay. Then select all those things, press Ctrl G to group, Ctrl D to duplicate. And this is my second option, Ctrl D and Ctrl D. So this is my fourth option, fourth details. These are my third option details. These are my second option details and then you can give a different color also for example this one i would like to have the color which is this one again this one will be a purple so you can just change according to the fingers which you have selected and once this is done you can do the animation to do the animation go to the animation enable the animation pane this one add animation more entrance effect select stretch click ok stretch I'm going to say from right sorry from left and then this one should happen again I'm going to select this one animation painter and click it here and this should happen after previous same thing here go to select this one animation painter click on this then this one select this one select the third one second one again this one I'm going to choose apply it on the third select this one Click on animation painter, apply on the third text, then this also the last one and here also the last title. So if I play, it comes something like this. Okay. Then the last thing which I would like to do is I would like to animate this whole palm also. Go to insert shape, select the rectangle, draw a small rectangle all right shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to select the same color what i have done and then i'm going to select all these three shape press ctrl g to group it send this to back send this to back and then i'm going to do the animation wipe animation so select this one wipe animation should happen from right and that should happen after previous so if i play this is the first option, second, third, fourth, and then the whole thumb or the palm comes here.